Being 41 when I got out, I had time to waste. I got a visit while incarcerated from a childhood friend. I hadn't seen him since I was 15 years old. He uh, saw my sister in the store. She told him where I was. So him and his wife and their youngest son came up to see me. And um, uh, we were just you know, speaking and I told them that I was taking a plate welding class in, in, the, in the school. And she said, well, I'm part of the local 602. You know, I'm a welder, pipe welder, local 602. And she said, you know, maybe you should consider doing something like that when you got out, getting into the union, great benefits. And of course, I said, yeah, I'll definitely look into that, right? So that's what I did. She sent me the pretest, the practice test. I, I practiced that while I was there. So I could be ready when I got out because I knew the enrollment time was in November. And what else am I gonna do in prison, right? I mean, my culture, sometimes the old folks will always tell you, get a trade, can no one take that from you? So to me, this is something I'll have, I'll have till I die, and that's something I'll be able to pass on to anybody who needs it, wants it enough. Going to a place with no windows just to get a real view on life. And that's what's going on. It's a life now. There's places where you really don't live life. Everything that happened, the pain, the suffering, the anger, back to the pain and the suffering, and then back to little bits and pieces that you can say God gives you to build you to a certain point. You know what I mean? And it just, I didn't know then how significant that moment was going to be in my life. So next thing you know, I'm practicing for the pretest. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that was it, you know? So right. that leads to a, a Billy Eilish concert with my daughter, being able to afford that, like, you know, my second year in, in the apprenticeship, you know, because I wasn't with her my, her whole life. I, I was indicted two weeks after she was born. I'm inspired to help the younger people now. Yeah. I'm glad to take this opportunity because if a young man looks like me, doesn't have to go through that, that many years of pain and suffering, that's cool with me. So he, so he can come on over here, you know what I mean, with us. Yeah. The realness is here. Like you said, work for their money and go home and take care of themselves. The biggest gang is my family. That's the ones I take care of. And I've been to places where gang members, leaders do not take care of dominions. And you know what I mean? So I know. So if you want like good leadership or you want people just to look out, I'm here. I'll look out. And I'm sure there's plenty of other guys here that will look out for you here in the local. You know what I mean? Because this is a, a real pathway to success. You know, don't be fooled.